While many Americans are celebrating the inauguration of Barack Obama as the 44th President of the United States, many around the world are saying goodbye in their own special way to George W. Bush, who has just ended his eight-year presidency, which has been full of controversy. Hundreds gathered at what organizers dubbed a special shoes-throwing farewell party for President Bush, at the same time that President Barack Obama was being inaugurated in Washington, D.C. People were asked to bring their own shoes and hurl them. These people have many reasons for disliking the former president, the most recent of which was his support for Israel during its all-out massive offensive against the people of the Gaza Strip, which has ravaged the besieged tiny coastal enclave, claiming at least 1,300 lives, more than 400 of whom children. Under the false pretext of his possession of weapons of mass destruction, he also occupied Iraq, causing havoc to the country in the process. Before Iraq, he also invaded Afghanistan to topple the Taliban government, which he has still, to this day, been unable to defeat. Nearly a million people have been killed in both conflicts, mostly civilian. Bush, uh, so bad, so bad man. He have war, always he have war. Why, we don't know. I think he is not uh, human. We want to tell all the world uh, this message uh, that we are suffering in Palestine, in Baghdad, in, in, and he is the first one who supported all these things. Even when uh, the crime was in Gaza, he sent many weapons to Israel just to kill the children. In Afghanistan, in Palestine, in Iraq, you see, in, in, in every uh, part of the world, you see, he is against uh, Muslims, he is against Arabs. The Palestinian people in Gaza are besieged, and they have been bombed by the U.S.-backed Israels, and no one was spared, not even mosques and schools. He did the same to Iraq, and caused great hardship to the people there, also in Afghanistan. Many here wanted to make sure that this shoes-throwing event would not be interpreted as an insult to the American people, but rather as a symbolic expression of dismay at the Bush administration. I have been there to America. The people there, they are so nice, and even the people in America, they hate Bush. Because Bush, he destroyed a lot of things. We don't hate uh, the people there, because they are like us. Uh, we hate the people that they support the crime. We don't hate you. You are our brothers in the peace. We hate you, this criminal, George Bush. Many hope that the new president, Barack Obama, will signal a real change in U.S. foreign policy. I hope he will feel with, after all this massacres that took place in Gaza, he will feel more with the Palestinian people, with the Arab people, uh, with our right to go back to our home again. As Americans celebrate the arrival of Obama to power, many here are waiting to see if he will bring forth the kind of change that they look forward to in the way the United States conducts itself overseas. Tariq Al-Farra, Press TV, Amman.